The gospel is race transcending because the Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter 2 that Christ, who has by his death at the cross reconciled the sinner back to God, has also reconciled man. Specifically, Paul says in Ephesians 2 that Christ is our peace and that he has broken down the wall of hostility that separated Jews and Gentiles. In Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 through 10, Paul talks about how the Lord makes Christians, but the latter half of the chapter is about how he makes the church. And both parts of that chapter stand together. And you cannot accept the reconciling work Christ does between man and God without accepting its practical application in the most divisive reality in the ancient world that Paul wrote in, Jew and Gentile. He is declaring that to understand the gospel is to understand that God has also in Christ made peace between man and man. This does not suggest that those different ethnicities, Jew and Gentile, denied who they were, but there was a transcendent truth, the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ and his saving work there is a transcendent truth. It means we, we by faith in Christ, have a larger allegiance to anything in this world. People say blood is thicker than water, but if that blood is baptism, it gets no thicker than that. In Christ, there is no Jew nor Greek, male nor female, bond nor free, but we are one in Christ.